Disaster officials say that while portable generators can be useful in emergencies, they can also be hazardous and even life-threatening. We spoke to Lee County Emergency Management officials for some tips on selecting, using, and storing generators. Yes, there are two types of generators. One is a portable generator, which you see in uh, many homes in the garages. The other type of generator is an in-house installed generator, which is usually installed outside the home. Well, the portable generator takes a lot more effort to operate due to the fact you have to run either extension cords from the appliances to the generator or have the generator uh, plugged into a plug installed by a licensed electrician on the outside wall. The generator has to be run outside because of the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning. All your appliances, your lights, run on different wattage. So you would have to determine first on what you want to try to run. If you want to run a refrigerator, fans, TV, additional lights, uh, this is all going to take additional wattage that you would have to determine what size generator to purchase. In-house generator, of course, would be engineered to handle all of your electrical needs in your house. Well, basically all generators should be tested on a monthly basis. They should be run on a monthly basis for 15, 20 minutes. For a three-day event, I would have to estimate you would need at least maybe 45 gallons of gasoline to run a generator 24 hours a day. Here again, it depends on the uh, run time on every generator is different, so you would have to determine that. Uh, but on average, I would say it would be five gallons of fuel for every five or six hours of usage. Basically, portable generators should be run outside the, the home. The generator should be refueled outside the home. You should have a fire extinguisher next to the generator at all times. You should have a, a carbon monoxide detector in the garage, in the house. Do not run your generator near a possible open room because the exhaust from the generator can enter the house through that open window. If it's a portable generator, I would take it to a, uh, uh, a service center, have them change the oil and just get it checked out, uh, change the spark plug on it, and you should always run your generator at least once a month.